Hello friends, I, I hope you are fine. In this video, we will talk about a very important question which so many people ask us as a doctor. They ask us that we advise people to take paracetamol if they are suffering from the corona uh, virus infection because paracetamol will help them uh, get relief from the pain and the fever. But we ask the people to avoid taking the brufin which contains the ibuprofen. Now, now ibuprofen is basically a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. There has been certain side effect of the ibuprofen in the patient who are suffering from the coronavirus. But up till now we didn't have the studies which can tell us what is the potential downside of the ibuprofen. But now there are certain studies from different countries of the world which tell us the potential downside of the ibuprofen. Now let me explain that downside on the white. Now if you look at this diagram, here you see the brufen. This is the brand name and the generic name of the drug is the ibuprofen. This is basically a NSAID or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Now if you look at the functioning of our immune system against the coronavirus, this is the coronavirus, it has got RNA which is uh, within the lipid bilayer. Now this lipid bilayer has got certain proteins and glycoproteins like the red one is the spike glycoprotein or S protein. Now uh, in the lipid bilayer there are two other proteins which we call the E protein or envelope protein and M protein or membrane protein. So our immune system which comprises basically of the two limbs, one is the innate arm and, uh, which is obviously from the very birth and one is the adaptive or the acquired arm which takes around like uh, a week to develop against the virus. Now whenever any virus and especially here we are talking about the coronavirus, it enters in our uh, body. Our immune system readily attacks the virus and this immune system it comprises of the macrophages, uh, dendritic cell, natural killer cells and the B uh, lymphocytes. Now it readily attacks the virus, breaks it down into different pieces including like RNA, spikes protein, lipid bilayer and E and M protein and then uh, it presents any part of it to the adaptive arm. Now this adaptive arm has got T cells which we call the naive T cell because they don't know how to behave. So once they uh, take up any part from the innate arm, then they hand over this uh, uh, segment to the uh, another T cell which we call the T helper 2 cell which then give that segment of the virus to the B lymphocytes or the B cells. Now that B cell make antibodies against that very segment of the virus. Uh, those antibodies not only kill the virus but they are neutralize the virus but they also make the memory T cells and the uh, there is cloning of the B cells. So in the future whenever uh, this virus will try to enter in our body those antibodies and the memory cells which will make further antibodies and they will neutralize the virus immediately rather than taking uh, 7 to 10 days. So this is the whole functioning of the immune system which ultimately ends up in the death of the virus. Now what happens if someone is put on the ibuprofen this ibuprofen it actually uh, downgrades or it weakens the innate arm of the immune system. Now if innate arm uh, is weakened then what happens there will be increased viral load there will be increase in the load of the virus because this uh, very limb of the immune system which was supposed to attack the virus on its upon its entry into our body will not be functioning that properly so as a result after 7 to 10 days when the adoptive or the acquired arm is ready to attack the virus it faces a large number of the virus which we call the viral load. So as a result, our adaptive arm makes a huge number of the arms or the, you can say, uh, weapons. Now those weapons, uh, in the medical language, we call them the cytokines. Now as a result of higher viral, viral load, because the ibuprofen has weakened the innate arm, a lot large number of the cytokines are produced. So these uh, large number of the uh, cytokines, they not only try to attack the virus, but they also attack our own very body, including the lungs. So this is how uh, we 
Uh, this is how the body uh, actually faces the cytokine storm, not because of the malfunctioning, but because of some interference from another drug. So this will result in damage to our body and patient can end up with a high flow oxygen and ultimately on the ventilator. So uh, the, this is the role of the ibuprofen. That is, the re that is why the doctors nowadays, they ask patient to avoid taking the ibuprofen uh, so that we do not face the cytokine storm when and it is not needed. So guys, you have seen on the whiteboard how the ibuprofen can potentially damage our immune system and lessen the innate arm so that the adaptive or the acquired arm has to make a lot of cytokines to fight off the higher concentration of the virus which we call the high viral load. And in, in that process, it doesn't only try to kill the virus but it can also damage our own very body including the lungs. This is what we call the cytokine storm which is one of the monstrous things to talk about and against this cytokine kind storm we use the uh, Actamra injection which is Trocelizumab because it goes and tries to block the interleukin 6 which is a very uh, important segment or part of the cytokine storm. So I hope it gives you some idea about not using the ibuprofen and the rationale behind it and thank you so much for watching the video guys.